dili atong maitaas ang gulo kon sa Ginoo. When you do church planting because you want your name be known, if you want to do church planting or even making disciples because you want someone to be known, then I want to remind each one of you that you are in the wrong boat. Because when we do music, when we do making disciples, when we do church planting, it's always for the glory of God. Without that, then everything is impossible. Tonight, on our second night, I want you to prepare your heart because this is what we want to hear as we go back and as we pray to go back to our churches. Ang mga buluhaton sa ginoo dali o sayon lamang kung kita adunay susama ng mensahe alang sa katawan. May I invite you to open your Bibles kung na may Bibles at mga gadgets niya. Mabasa na ito ni. Luke chapter 10 verses 8 to 12. Luke chapter 10, verses 8 to 12. In honor of God's word, as you all stand, let's read this passage. Or you can read your gadgets or your Bibles with you. Let's read it all together. In verse 8, it says, When you enter a town and are welcome, eat what is offered to you. Heal the sick who are there and tell them, the kingdom of God has come near to you. But when you enter a town and are not welcome, go into its streets and say, even the dust of your town we wipe from our feet as a warning to you. Yet be sure of this, the kingdom of God has come near you. I tell you, it will be more bearable in that day for Sodom than for that town. May the Lord add his blessing upon the reading of his word. Let's all be seated. I remember a story about a person, a member of a church, who has been praying to go to a mission field. Tinguha niya makaadlo siya o usa ka lugar. Aron niya mapaambit ang pulong sa ginoo. Now when he committed himself planning a mission, wala siya kapalog asa siya ipadala sa ginoo. Which is very common right now. When we talk about our International Mission Board, in fact, every SBC annual meeting, both the North American Mission Board and the IMB are combining effort in sending missionaries. And when these missionaries stand in front of the messengers of the annual meeting, nakita nimo ang ilang mga now. Upon dili isulti ko nasa sila mo We are so proud of our brothers and sisters, brother and sisters. Oh, it was not an aki, but goodbye. Brothers and sisters who we commissioned yesterday or last night. They know we're going. Now, I'm going back to the story. Ini nga yung ni commit sa ginoo, ang wato siya sa field, but not knowing where to go. Finally, he got his assignment. He was sent into a village. This village is known as the hardest part of that city or country in believing God. Pero sa iyong tinguha ng mga lagad sa ginoo, wala siya magduha-duha. And when he reached that village, he was surprised. That there was a person of peace in there already. Thank you, Kaya. Now, getting person of peace, actually, when he arrived in that village, was so happy and so grateful that this guy arrived. And one more thing surprising him. Tako ang pagkatingala sa tao ng ningado tungod kay. Bisan kung wala siya kabalo kung unsan yung aklasing na lugar, apaning sunod siya sa ginoo, 
Aron masunod ang kabubuton sa Ginoo nga kini nga mga grupo. We'll be able to actually hear and listen to the word of God and also respond to the gospel. You know what this guy did? Getting person of peace? As he was entering the village, he ran to the missionary and said, Thank you so much for coming. I've been praying for you for so long. I know that you are coming. Welcome into the village. And then the person, this person of peace started to bring him to every member of that community and introduce him by saying, this is the guy that I've been praying for. Now he is here. Lisod to Ohan, lisod hunahunaon, apan mga isuon sa maniana. Ang tinguha sa ginoo sa atong kinabuhi. If we are so worried about what will happen when we go into the field. Now here, in this passage, God is warning. Jesus Christ is warning every one of us that when we go beyond our comfort zones, that when we go beyond our cities, Dili puros kalipay ang atong matagang taman. Dili puros katawa. Doon na sa'y mga kaguol. Pag mga eksuon, kung doon na kita'y tinguha sa pagpaabot sa pulong sa ginoo na sa mga tao na gusto natong makita na maluwas sama sa tinguha ni ginoo ni Jesus, then we need to go and get those feet moving so that people will know the Lord Jesus Christ who will also introduce Christ to others. Making disciples that will make disciples that will make disciples and we will become active in the church. The church that we are going to start from these people who became disciples of the Lord Jesus Christ. On this passage that I have tonight, we have the message we have the message. What Jesus wanted, the 72, that we talked about last night, is for them to preach the gospel. To preach the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ and to heal those who need the touch of that person who can heal them spiritually. Uh, importante sa atong misyon, importante sa atong pagpamit sa pulong sa ginoo, ang pagpaabot kanila sa kaluwasan kay mama na itong tingwa. If you will go there with any other purpose in your life, then that's not what God wants you to do. You are going there because you followed His command to go and teach and preach and you will accept the promise of the Lord Jesus Christ that he will be with you wherever you go. In this passage, again, two things that I want to share with you, that Jesus Christ wanted his disciples to do, wanted you to do, wanted all of us to do, because that is what God mandated each one of us. The ministry of healing, was important in the life of Jesus. If you look into the ministry of Jesus, healing was a part of his ministry. And you can count many, many instances in the Bible. Yes, last night, or was it last night, we talked about, like, you know, uh, oh, this morning, but I think Brother Wilson or Brother Wallace, um, his parents was looking for Jesus for three days, diba? Right? And then, Mom Mary, the mother Mary, asked him, where were you? have been looking for you. She's like, why? I must be in my father's business, right? 
Uh, on those business, the Lord Jesus Christ was not only teaching in the temple at age 12, but also telling people that there's a great healer, a great God in this world. Ang gusto matingwa sa pan. Ayaw ka Spiritual healing is a part of the ministry of the Lord Jesus Christ. And brothers and sisters in the Lord, mga kaisunan, pastors, leaders of the churches, family members, spiritual healing is more important than physical healing. Because spiritual healing can cause people to go to heaven, while physical healing may be able to extend their lives, but they will not enjoy the eternal life that the Lord Jesus Christ promised. Say to them, the kingdom of God has come near you. As part of the message, it also says, the kingdom was about to be here. I remember one time when I talked about this one in the church. The disciples approached the Lord Jesus Christ and said, Karun na ba imong i-restore a kingdom sa Israel? Ang tubag ni Ginoong Jesus, kanina nagingon siya, Dili ako ang magbuot ni Ana. But when we talk about our role in preaching,